In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a cable card with your home theater PC and turn it into a DVR. So let's get to it. So if you want to go a little bit more in depth in this whole process of setting up a home theater PC, click on the link at the end of this video because it'll give you all the unboxings of all the hardware I'm using. Also, it will give you a background on what Windows Media Center is, because that's what I'm using on this device to set up my home theater PC. You can also use the Linux-based Myth TV. I just chose to use Windows Media Center in this setup. But this video is actually going to show you exactly how to set up your cable card on your home theater PC so you can watch live TV through your PC and record it. So let's take a look at how this process is actually done. Now, going into this, I'm under the impression that I'm going to have to call Comcast and have them activate my cable card. I haven't done that yet because I think I should probably go through this process first so that everything's set up so that when I actually do activate the card, it'll just feed right into this. But we'll see how that works out. So I'm going to click on Live TV Setup and it says Stop Playback continue media playback will be stopped. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll hit yes. And that was just that infamous uh, music title that I had on pause. If you're paying attention in the lower left hand corner, uh, that would pop up. The album art would pop up in the corner. But I had it on pause this entire time. Now it says TV setup region. Your region is used to configure your computer for local TV services. Region is the United States. Is this region correct? Yes, it is. And I'm going to click Next. And it says it wants my zip code. Your zip code determines the downloadable TV program guide listings that are available for your region. So I'm going to enter in my zip code, and I'll join with you on the other side of that. The next selection says Program Guide Terms of Service. To receive TV program guide listings, you must agree to the following terms of service. Of course, I want to agree to this. Click yes and hit next. And then it says Microsoft Play Ready PC Runtime EULA. Of course, I want to agree to this. And install Play Ready. Windows Media Center is downloading and installing Play Ready. Now it's downloading TV setup data. Okay, it says TV signal detection result. Windows Media Center detected the following digital cable card, one tuner. Is this configuration correct and complete? I'll put yes. Hit next. And then it says activate support for digital cable. To view and record premium or high definition TV channels, you must enter a product key. Select next to enter your product key. Well, I don't have a product key yet. So I'm assuming I'm gonna to have to get that from Comcast. But I'm gonna hit next here. Okay, I didn't actually need a product key from Comcast or even my Windows installation disk. It was already in the field there and it activated it. So the next selection here says activate your cable card. When you set up Windows Media Center for use with a cable card to access premium channels, information about your computer and cable card will be sent to your TV service provider. And of course I want to do this, so I'm going to hit yes and next. Now it says activate your cable card. To activate your cable card, call your cable company and provide them with the information from the following page. If you do not activate your cable card, remove it from your digital cable tuner to be able to watch or record non-premium channels. So I'm gonna hit next here. Okay, so let's catch you up to speed here. Windows Media Center gave me all of my information on my cable card and suggested I call my cable provider to activate the cable card. So I called up Comcast, then through Windows Media Center it gave me the option to connect to Comcast, and when all was said and done, Comcast activated the cable card, and now I'm able to watch live TV on my PC. Also, I'm able to use it as a DVR so I can pause live TV and record TV. So let me go over here, this would be the selection Live TV, and that would bring you to whatever channels you have from your cable provider. But I don't want to get into trouble for copyright infringement, so I'm just going to show you the guide here. Now, I'm going to click on the guide, and it shows you all of your channels, and you can just scroll through them. 
Now, if I wanted to record something, I could just click on it, and it brings up this interface here, similar to the Netflix interface, where you have a couple of filters up top, you have the synopsis, you have actions, you have other showings of it, so if you're going to miss this showing, you can see that it's on again on Monday. Similar movies, which would be suggestions, the cast and crew, and an actual review of the selection. You also have stars below that. Now, if I wanted to, I could click on record, and it would record it for me, just like a regular DVR would. So it's a really nice way to set up your own DVR, which has way more functionality than any set-top box that you could get. Not only is it a set-top box, but you can watch Netflix through it, and it's a full-fledged computer. So you can access regular Hulu on it, you can rent movies from online movie rental services, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Blockbuster, whether it's Cinema Now, whether it's Vudu. You have pretty much everything at your fingertips. And you can do it fairly inexpensively, like I showed you here. Now, this isn't it in the series of setting up your own home theater PC. Click on the link at the end of this video to check out other videos in this series. Now, I just wanted to give you a quick update. When I unboxed all the components I used in this home theater PC setup, I showed you a DVI to HDMI cord. And I used that to connect the video from the home theater PC to my projector. And everything looked fine if I wanted to play media from the home theater PC, everything was fine. The only problem I encountered was when I was working with live TV and I wanted to record live TV. What would happen is I'd get a weird flickering of the screen, of the live TV feed. And after doing a lot of searching online, I found that it was actually the DVI to HDMI cord. So unfortunately, I can't use it. Now, unfortunately, my projector doesn't have a DVI port on it. It only has HDMI and VGA. So I had to use a cord that I had, which was DVI to VGA. And once I did that, no more flickering. Now, as you saw in the unboxing video, I'm still using the optical out from the computer to my receiver. So that's how you set up a home theater PC with DVR functionality. And that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.